25th of June at 10.30 a.m. And the cremation is private. And secondly, the funeral of George Gibson will be held here at Privy Parish Church on Monday the 1st of July at 12.30 p.m. followed by the committal at Falkland Cemetery at 1.30 p.m. And we express our deepest condolences to both these families concerned who have lost loved ones. Christian Aid, the Christian Aid collection total, the total raised, including gift aid, amounted to £337.50. £337.50. Thanks to everyone who contributed to the charity. Then the, uh, the voting last week for your interest, all the congregations voted in favour, although some in, in, in the congregations there were people who voted against, but generally speaking, the people voted in favour in all congregations involved in the cluster for the union. And as far as fault on the, as far as Fruki is concerned, I've been asked to intimate that 25 voted for, 3 voted against, and there was one spoiled paper. So that is exactly the result of the election last week. And then our summer serenade and supper. We've been having problems setting a, a final date for this because of the roof situation with the hall, but Alec tells me this morning that the contractors say they will be finished by Tuesday, by next Tuesday. They're even allowing for a few days after that, or maybe a couple of weeks after that. We are looking now at Wednesday the 17th of July. Wednesday the 17th of July. It was to be the 19th of June. We're now looking at the 17th of July. That will be confirmed next week. That's the date we're looking for to have our summer serenade and supper in our newly roofed church hall. So we better not raise the roof. <laughs> we'll need to start all over again. So these, I think, are all the intimations. Let us worship God. Let us sing to his praise and glory. In him 210, awake my soul and lift the sun. Him two one four.
our imagination and desire is your never-failing love and care. Help us to realize your presence with us and to offer the worship of heart and mind and will, all surrendered to your service through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hear our confessions, O God. Though we are bound to you by many ties, we recognize that in our lives there is restlessness, anxiety, there is fear. If these arise because we reject your leading and wander from your way, we ask you to give us now the honesty to admit our failings and the courage to repent of them. Hear us therefore when we pray, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. May we be assured that there is declared in Jesus Christ to all who are truly penitent, the forgiveness of their sins and the renewal of their lives in the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord God, Christ's dealings with our human race have shown the power of love Establish such a love within our hearts that we may love you in sincerity and for Christ's sake, love and care for all men and women. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, who taught us to pray together as his believing family and to say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth.
beginning at verse 1. Matthew 13 and 1. That same day, Jesus went out and sat by the lakeside, where so many people gathered round him that he had to get into a boat. He sat there, and all the people stood on the shore. He spoke to them in parables at some length. Jesus said, A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed some seed, it fell along the good path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some seed fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil, and it sprouted quickly, because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun rose, the young corn was scorched, and as it had no root, it withered away. Some seed fell among thistles, and the thistles shot up and choked the corn. And some of the seed fell into good soil, where it bore fruit, yielding a hundredfold, or it might be sixtyfold or thirtyfold. If you have ears, then hear. The disciples went up to him and said, Why do you speak to them in parables? Jesus replied, It has been granted to you to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to those others it has not been granted. For the man who has will be given more till he has enough and to spare, and the man who has not will forfeit even what he has. That is why I speak to them in parables. For they look without seeing, listen without hearing, or understanding. There is a prophecy of Isaiah which is being fulfilled for them. You may hear and hear, but you will never understand. You may look and look, but you will never see. For this people's mind has become gross. Their ears are dull and their eyes are closed. Otherwise their eyes might see, their ears hear, their mind understand. Then they might turn again, and I would heal them. Amen, and may God bless to us these readings from his word. And to his name be the glory and the praise. Now our prayers of intercession and thanksgiving, let us pray. Let us give thanks to the Lord. Because it's always right to praise and thank Him. We thank You, our God, for our experience of the world You have created, for the sights and sounds of every day, and for the occasional glimpses into deeper beauty and into glory. For the many encounters and acquaintanceships of life, and for the deeper, more lasting relationships with those whom we love so dearly. But more than for all of that, we thank you for the gospel's joyful sound, for the new life Christ gives to those who put their trust in him, and for the privilege of our commission to speak in his name, to shine with his light, and to build his new community. the great company of his servants in both earth and heaven we join our voices as we praise you say holy 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 god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest we pray you now lord god to fan the flame of love in our hearts and give warmth to the words of our lips and the thoughts of our minds as we pray for others. Lord, King and Head of the Church, we remember every congregation of the faithful, strengthen their confidence in your power and will to save the human race and in the final triumph of your kingdom. Lord, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, remember the rulers of nations especially Charles, our King, and all his house, and his government, and those who hope to serve in 
May it be the aim of every government to promote peace and justice and fairness and let the causes of hatred and bitterness be removed from all the troubled places of the world. We pray again urgently for all the troubled places of the world, remembering especially Ukraine and Gaza and so many other places where we see day by day man's utter inhumanity to man. And in the name of the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, we pray for peace in your world to become a reality for all men and women. In the words of the hymn, bring peace, O God, bring peace again. Lord God, King of mercy, we remember all those who are afflicted, the sick in body and the, the disturbed in mind, the worried, the tempted, the bereavement, the, the bereaved, either recently or long since. We remember all refugees and all the victims of war and of famine. Give, we pray, comfort and help healing and strength. Lord, King of love, we remember all who are closest to us in family or in friendship and be near to all who we now name in silence, whom we know to need our with all of them. 
faintest clue as to what it's all about. When we listen and hear, then we have to think until we see what the thing, whatever it is, really means. We should never hesitate to ask question after question until we do understand. And then finally, the mind which holds it thus, as St. Luke had it in his account of the parable. Luke writes, the seed in good soil represents those who bring a good and honest heart to the hearing of the word, hold it thus, and by their perseverance yield a harvest. This doesn't only mean remembering it, although it does mean that, it means also that when we believe that a thing's true, we must hold on to it, no matter what anyone else says or does. This is what makes a person not only a person of knowledge, but a person of principle, which is still more important. So there you have it, the simple teaching of another parable Jesus once told. In summary, we must avoid the shut mind, we must avoid the shallow mind, we must avoid the overcrowded mind. And we must have the mind that hears, accepts, understands, holds fast, and acts on what it was taught. That's how we ought to listen, as taught to us so succinctly and so superbly by Jesus in his immortal parable of the soul. to help 